Now, after an impressive season with West Ham, where he scored 12 goals along with 10 assists, Jared Bowen has earned his first international call-up. Well, he's been speaking as an England player for the first time today, and he caught up with our senior reporter Rob Dorset, who joins us live from St George's Park now. Evening, Rob. Tell us about Jared Bowen's journey to this point. Mike, it's been extraordinary. Uh, I think that's the truth of it. We're so used to top players in the Premier League and the European leagues now coming from a very young age through a, a, a top club's academy uh, where they're nurtured and coached uh, and schooled in the art of football and all that surrounds the sport from a very, very early age. Well, not so with Jared Bowen. It was only eight years ago he was playing in the fifth tier of English football for Hereford United. And, of course, they went out of business. So it's a pretty extraordinary story he had back then, playing for free, not earning any wages, uh, and then the club going bust. And he went on trial at Cardiff City for six weeks, but then was rejected by them and wondered if he had any future in the game. Uh, so it's from going from there to where he is now is a heck of a story. It's a heck of a tale, isn't it? And those stats you talk about, 22 goal involvements, outstripping even the Premier League's player of the season, Kevin De Bruyne, in terms of stats and, and goal involvements this season. That's what a good season he's had. And remember, Gareth Southgate said in March, the last time an England squad was announced, that he would have called up Jared Bowen then, but for a broken and bone in his foot. Bowen said to me today that that was pretty bittersweet when he heard his name mentioned but knew that he'd missed out back then. Not so now. He talked about his delight and the fact that this was a dream for him to be playing alongside the greats like Harry Kane and Phil Foden and Raheem Sterling here at St George's Park. Um, but I reminded him of his humble beginnings and, and the lower echelons of English football and what it was like back then and asked him directly, could you ever think back then at the age of 17 that you might be here now? Yeah, a million miles away. Um, at the time, it was conference football, playing for my local team, and and that, and that was it. I didn't have any. Obviously, you have dreams, but you don't think of you know someone from Hereford, um, to, you know, to get a move to to Hull in the first place. Um, it was just kind of like I said, playing for my local team and just playing week in week out in the conference. So, you know, sometimes I sit back and look back at where I've where I've come from, um, and especially you know being in an England camp now. You know, I've got a. But, you know, sounding big-headed, take my, my hat off to myself for, you know, where I've come from to where I am now. You know, when I was 17 playing for Hereford, you know, you look at, you know, Jamie Vardy, Tyrone Mings, those players that also didn't, you know, come through a, an academy set up and they was playing in the, the top leagues and playing for their country. So you kind of just, you don't really think of it in that sense, you're just playing your football. And, you know, if you're good enough and you've got the, the work ethic, then it'll take you a long way. Well, Rob, Bowen has joined his West Ham teammate Declan Rice in the squad, but does he believe they'll still be club teammates next season? He certainly hopes so. Um, and look, West Ham hopes so as well. They've slapped a big old price tag, haven't they, on Declan Rice. Reports that they'd want £150 million uh, for anybody that wants to take Declan Rice from, up, uh, from the uh, uh, City, of, City Stadium this, uh, this summer. Uh, but the transfer window opens in 10 days' time and there's already an awful lot of speculation because he is one of the hottest properties in English football right now, Declan Rice. And Jared Bow Bowen admitted that. He said, look, the two men are close, um, but he wants Declan Rice to stay. But he understands why there's such interest in him uh, because quite simply he said Declan Rice is world class right now and he's getting better all the time and still a very young age. Have a listen to what Bowen said about his West Ham and now England teammate Declan Rice because uh, he puts into words what an awful lot of people in football are thinking right now. I think the, the Euros deck really showed what he's about and I think people started to un, you know, understand him a bit more and realise how good he is and I see it every day in training. Um, I've seen how good he is that Euro season, this season as well, he's gone on to another level. Um, and of course, you want to play with the best players, and I want to play with Deck, you know, at my club and you know at the country as well. Is there a better holding midfielder, defensive mid midfielder in the Premier League at the moment? Do you think? I don't think so. I think you look at Deck, and you know, I think he, like I said, I think he's getting spoke about more now because, like I said, people are starting to realise what what he does and what he's about. Um, and this season, like I said, he's just gone from from strength to strength, and he's got everything you need. Jared Bowen speaking very confidently today in his first England news conference since his call-up by Gareth Southgate. And you heard him say there that he thinks Declan Rice is the best holding midfield player in the Premier League right now.
It's a big statement, that, isn't it? But uh, a very confident Jared Bowen we heard from. And he has a good chance, you have to say, of making his England debut over the next fortnight or so. England have four Nations League games. They play Hungary home and away, and then huge games uh, away in Germany, uh, in Munich, against uh, one of the world powerhouses of football, and then Italy at home in Wolverhampton behind closed doors. And you suspect Gareth Southgate has got to give Bowen a run out at some point. And he talked today, Bowen, about his hopes and his ambitions of trying to be on that play for Qatar in November. He's got a chance and a chance to stake a claim for that right now. And uh, when he does make his England debut, there's no de bet betting against him, I don't think. Uh, the form that he's in, the confidence that he's got, that he'll do just as well in an England shirt as he's done in a West Ham shirt this season. Absolutely. Our senior reporter, Rob Dorsett, with England at St George's Park. Thanks, Rob.